In this video, I'm going to be showing you five tricks that only 1% of players know inside of Build a Boat for Treasure. So stay tuned to the very end because every single one of these will blow your mind. Specifically the last one we go over. That's probably my favorite out of the entire list. So stay tuned. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Let's get straight into the first one. So right now I have my girlfriend inside of the game. You guys can see right here she's on a brand new account or uh, because yeah. Anyway, a lot of you guys may be questioning is there actually a kick button inside a build a boat for treasure? Now if you actually go to your menu there's a lot of different settings inside of private servers and one of the most requested settings is a kick menu to where you can actually remove player from your server but the game doesn't actually offer that but a recent roblox update that came out just a few months ago actually allows you to kick anyone from your server at any time which honestly could be an issue definitely with people building inside of your server because they you could do it at any point and they don't have time to save but if you actually press escape and you go to your settings or to people right here and you literally just have to block them right here literally all you have to do is press block and boom they are gone from the server and then they get a disconnected message saying they've been removed from the game. Now, this happens because you block the person. So, if you want to re-add them back, you're going to have to uh, unblock them and then add them back to the server. But, I mean, in case you guys wanted to actually remove people from your private server, well, now you have the ability. Now, by the way, this only works inside of private servers and if you own the server. You can't do it inside of public servers because uh, it just doesn't work like that. So, that is the first tip. Now, here is two build tricks that you probably didn't know about. The first one, if you actually open the menu and you go to your saves just like this did you know you can actually move save slots you may be saying what are you talking about well if you actually hold click on one of your save slots and then you click on a slave save slot that you want to replace it with you go like this and boom you can actually move save slots around this is a hidden feature inside of the game and not that many people actually know about it comment down below if you knew this. there's also another one now a lot of people might know about this but personally i didn't know about this for a very long time when playing the game because it's kind of a hidden feature if you open up your build menu you actually have this arrow that's right next to your blocks right here that can scale the menu of your blocks so that way you can have access to more blocks it's kind of a little hidden feature because it's kind of hard to see but there's a little arrow right here that you can drag that scales this up and down a quote that you like then you can duplicate it and i'm going to show you exactly how so just make sure that when you duplicate it any boat build item anything like that inside of the game and it's super super easy so by the way you can do this with giant boats so if you build a giant that you whatever you want to duplicate let's say i'm going to duplicate the steampunk jetpack because i only have one of them we're just going to use this as an example but it can go up to pretty much an infinite amount of blocks or builds as i mentioned so all you have to do is pretty much get them unanchored use a fly glitch or put a jet on it or do whatever but before you actually take it out of the build zone make sure to go to your menu and then go up here and then all you want to do is just make a save slot so i'm just going to save this one to uh duplicate just like that and we're going to save it so now that i've saved it i'm going to delete the post i'm just going to fly this right out area you want to fly out of the build zone you cannot be anywhere near the build zone so probably right about here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our saves and we're just gonna press load just like this and then if we actually fly back over then you guys can see once again our original build is here and we just duplicated it now you're probably wondering does this actually save well let's test it out let's go over here let's press save now and then let's load all of it back in one more time and boom we just duplicated it this is one of the most useful techniques inside of the game especially when you build something and you need extra blocks or if you build something very like you know specific or it has a lot of detail to it and you can't actually use the travel tool this is a very good alternative method this has been inside of the game for years and it has not been patched so it looks like they are pretty much aware of this and are just going to keep it inside of the game i guess but as i mentioned you can duplicate boats builds items literally anything that you want but that leads me into the next tip and these ones are actually really really you can actually make infinite jets and thrusters inside of the game and what i mean by that is the jet right here and also the thruster both have limited time as which they can turn on for but i'm going to show you a cool trick where you can actually make these last for an infinite amount of time. so let's actually start with the gray thruster for example so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place this and then i'm just going to anchor it so that it's or unanchor so it's just going to face inside of the ground this is one way to do this i'm going to set my travel tool to the clone setting i'm going to activate it and then i'm just going to clone it now you guys will see now we have two thrusters going on at the same time
same time. But for some reason, when you clone them with the travel tool, that they go on forever. So you can see this one ran out, but this one's still on and it can actually go forever. So we can now just do delete that right there. We can then anchor this thing and we can even drag it underneath the map. And also we can turn the transparency all the way down and we get a really cool fire particle that can be used for a lot of cool things. Now, if you actually wanted this fire to deal damage to players, you can do that as well. Simply take the spike block just like this and place a few spike blocks around it. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the property tool. We're going to turn the transparency on these all the way down. And also we're gonna take the collision as well and turn it off. So that way players can walk through and they'd actually be taking a lot of damage when they touch the flame. But secretly, there's a bunch of spike blocks here that are what is doing the damage to the player. But now I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we do it with jet turbines and also thrusters. Well, we're going to make a giant box here. So that way these jets have a giant area that they can fly around it. And this is going to get very, very interesting because we're gonna have a bunch of jet turbines going off for an infinite amount of time. Now, if you guys do it this way, they do tend to glitch out of the box quite often, but we're gonna put it to the ultimate tech. All right, so I'm gonna make these walls extra thick. There we go. And I'm gonna put a ceiling on this as well so they can't actually fly out. Okay, this should be good enough. And then what I'm gonna do, just so that way I can see everything, is I'm gonna select all of this. And I'm gonna turn the transparency all the way down. So now we have this glass dome around us. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do the same exact thing where I'm going to place myself. Let's do a red jet turbine. We're just gonna place this down and we're gonna go like that. And then I'm also gonna take another one, but I'm only going to clone it when it's activated. So I'm just gonna activate it like that and it's gonna fly everywhere. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're gonna drag it like that. All right, and we're gonna go like this. Okay, there we go. Is this one on the inside? Okay, that's on the inside right there. So now this jet's gonna go everywhere. This jet's still here. I'm gonna try to duplicate it again. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. It's gonna be a little bit difficult. Um, okay, I dragged it there. Now I just gotta deselect that. Okay, so I have that one activated as well. Okay, so we got another. Did I, did I do another one? Oh, I didn't set it to clone. I had to set it to clone. All right, there we go. This one should work. Boom, just like that. Do we have another one here? Okay, there we go. We got another one going off, but it doesn't have the trail, but it's still technically moving. And then let's try it with the thruster as well while we're in here. So let's go take this. We're gonna go like this. This one's gonna be a little bit hard to do as well, but we're gonna try it. We're going to activate it and it's gonna go crazy. It's gonna go crazy. Here. We're gonna go like this. Let's put it over here. Oh, we gotta go like this. There we go. Okay, so the thrusters now go in. We have two jets going here as well. And you guys will see soon this jet will run out of fuel and these two over here will stay alive and stay on. And you guys can see right here, the jets have finally ran out of fuel. The thruster ran out of fuel. And you guys can see here, this thruster still technically works. Look at that. I mean, it even still moves around. You just have to drag it back a little bit and it still works. Now also these jet turbines as well. They're still technically activated because you guys can see as soon as I delete this, look at that. What in the world? Where are they going to? That's actually kind of creepy. They are still activated, but like they're getting like pulled by a, a unknown force of some sort. I honestly have no idea. Kind of scary, but you know, let's go ahead and get into the next technique or trick that you may have missed out on. You can turn literally any block you want into gold. And how exactly do you do that? It's really, really easy. First thing you want to do is grab the mystery block like this. All right, so we have the mystery block placed down and I'm just gonna literally put down anything that I want turned into gold. So this works for pretty much majority of the items inside of the game and maybe not every little item, but majority of the items this is going to work. Now, you want to actually activate the mystery block. Well, there's something really, really overpowered about this that I'm gonna show you guys here in just a second. So stay tuned. There's something very important about this mystery block that you guys have got to see. So if you don't actually get it to turn gold within like the first 30 seconds, is simply just delete the block and replace it. But we're gonna see right now if we can get it because sometimes it might drop a huge barrel of TNT on us and it might just destroy everything. So we're gonna see here. Uh, I think I might delete it here in like 10 seconds. If it doesn't turn into gold, my head is ginormous now. What in the world just happened to me? Okay, so I don't think it's gonna turn into... Oh, I got it. Oh, I, oh, I literally just deleted it as it did it. But you guys can see right here, everything is now golden, which looks really, really awesome. So you can make some really cool design. Now, a lot of you guys may know about about this quest right here, which is called the Thin Ice Quest, which turns pretty much everything you place down into an ice block, which is one HP. But if we actually use the mystery block and turn everything into gold, you can pretty much cheat this quest by turning all your blocks into gold blocks, which is a very, very interesting technique that we could use to basically cheat this quest and 
go to the end. Considering this is the quest with the best reward possible, it is definitely a solid strategy. But you guys can see right there, I have now placed gold blocks on the thin ice quest. I mean, it's as easy as this. And the last trick that I want to go over in this video, bro, I, I cannot get over my head being so huge, bro. What in the world did the mystery block do to me? You have to be, for some reason, you have to be either on red team or blue team for this to work. It really is weird. I don't really know why. It might be like the lighting of the game or something. I'm not entirely too sure. But you can actually make a custom jet turbine. And what I actually mean by that is if we actually take a purple jet, for example, and we place it right here. All right. So you guys know how we have a red, a purple, and also a light blue jet inside of the game. What if I told you you could actually get different colors? And you're probably thinking like, yeah, you literally just have to paint it. But it paints the entire jet and it doesn't really look that cool. Well, with this trick I'm going to show you, you can actually get some crazy colors that actually look like legit jet. So if we actually turn the transparency down, let's say 50% on this uh, purple jet, and we take this red jet and we put it on the inside, the same place we put it, you can see now we have a bright pink jet. So this is me painting a jet. Look at the difference, okay? I mean, it looks way cooler. Now, the best part about this is that we could place the seat on top of here and we could delete the other jets. And what I could actually do is click to activate so we have the red jet speed, but as soon as I press F, it switches to the purple jet and you can switch back and forth in between the two speeds and you also get a longer lasting jet because you're switching between the two but if you guys want to see more build about tricks just like these go ahead and drop a like and subscribe if this video gets to 500 likes we will do a part two i'll see you guys all inside of the next 